and welcome back. Now we're now we're doing like the first official podcast. Now um, give them heaven. Right, go ahead. Officially recording. So if you talk to any Puerto Rican who's lived in Puerto Rico, like who was born and raised, well, like the the El Campo, which is the country, which is the majority, every single one of them knows somebody that has had an encounter with a chupacabra. Here, like late at night, your dogs or something like what the hell's going on, and then in the morning, your farm animals are exsanguinated. Imagine there's like. They stab them like it looks like a puncture wound, and there is no blood. There's no mess. There's no animal alive that does that. There is one like a bat, and it's like really small. It can't exsanguinate a chicken. That's a lot of blood. And it's not just chicken. They call it the chupacabra because it started with. Oh, goats. Oh, oh, like, oh no! I accidentally hit. Some, oh no! I ac- I I accidentally melee a bitly with a comically large spoon. Oh. No. I probably had to specify it was with the spoon. I mean, it's it's the it's the golden spoon, obviously. Oh, so so they got set on, so they got so they got set on fire too. Eleven o'clock at night, and my dogs are barking, freaking, going insane. I'm like, what the hell? I don't see anything. I look through the window. I don't see anything. Anyway, whatever. I go back to bed. I wake up at eight o'clock in the morning and there's like a bajillion cars in my neighbor's house. And I go over there and all of the animals, even the cat, were exsanguinated. I like, I like, like how, I, I mean, I like how you have to, sp- I like how you say every time, exsanguinated. Not like, oh, thou, they were drained of blood. They were blood, they no, were they were exsanguinated. They were vampire level of this is a, just... They, bro, they were twilighted. Yes. And then collectively pretend that it's not a thing. We coll- you ju- we just I cannot believe how incredibly we just write this off, and just like wrestling fans just like try to excuse all the things. Oh, it's not fake. It's this. I was like, yeah, no. It's like we all collectively just com- ignore it. Well, everybody has had an experience with this thing. And it's very obviously real. Oh no, I did it. I, I shot a civilian. Oh Again. god, I'm a war crime. I'm a war criminal now. You're I, a war criminal. I, 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 listen, Again. man, I, 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 bonked a, um, I bonked a medic to death, so that makes me a triple war criminal. You know, yeah, I really, oh, yeah, like, you're, you're I really love hearing that he's I, I, I really that like uh, that Chupac. I, Wait, what I was love... that mean? I, I love, like, stories with monsters and such, and I was I do too. Wonder, like, other than... Other than the chupacabra, what other monster stories do you have? I also really in love hearing Puerto Rico. Stories. All right, so I'm gonna tell you the story of my grandpa. So my grandfather, <laughs> he right when I he told me this story was when I was a kid, and up until the moment he died, he never has changed anything of the story. Story of la mujer de las trenzas largas, which translates into the woman of the long braids. So he was. Uh, my grandma was a nurse. She was working, and he was at his house with uh, his first daughter, which was my aunt. Yeah, that was the first girl that he ever had. Anyway, it's two o'clock in the morning, and my aunt doesn't shut up. She finally goes to bed. So my grandpa, he's standing up inside of the house, looking through the window to the house that's on the other side, drinking a coffee, and he sees this woman floating with this white gown and she's looking at my grandpa she turns through the gate of my of his neighbors which is a gate and then goes through the gate without opening the gate just oh my gosh huh and also, then my bro she used a no says, clip and i quote i literally well, shat honest. myself and went back inside and okay, literally i'll just be uh, honest right now you you and your grandfather probably have to be dry lip look asses ah don't look him now <laughs> Oh, wait, what? Is, wait, wait, hold on. Hold, hold on. There's hold on. Can you repeat that? Right for... hey, what? Oh, that's... There, there's like, more to the story. So in Puerto Rican folklore, it says that if a spirit comes to you at night and like tries to leave you somewhere, it goes to what's called un entierro. Right. And an entierro in Puerto Rican folklore is back in the day, there didn't used to be banks. 
So people would just bury their riches. So instead of a bank, you would just dig a hole where only where you know where it was, and you just bury all your stuff there. So if somebody died and he never let anyone know where his stuff was, it could conceivably still be out there like a buried treasure. Now, there's a lot of stories of people who have seen dead people come back and say, hey, I'll give you what I left if you give me what you have. And when they say that, it means you're heat because in the grave, it's very cold. Now, ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. My mom used to say that there was a man in El Pueblo de Camoy, which I, I live in a Caribbean island, dude. It's hot as fuck. It is hot. I am literally right now with my box. I have one, two, three fans on me right now. Three I, fans. Three. three fans at once. Oh. Hey, bro, three only fan. Bro, hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, only fans. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, and I'm still sweating. So three this man fans. in 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 at three o'clock in the afternoon. My mom used to say that this man at three o'clock in the afternoon would just walk. Under the sun, con chaqueta, with a jacket, long sleeve, like like if he was in New York City. He used to walk around like he was in New York City, and he was a very rich man. And people used to say that he took Doña Florinda, which was his the, the mama of his wife. She came to him at night and said, hey, I'll give you my riches, but you have to give me your heat because it's cold down here. You know, I'm dead. I don't have any warmth. And he's like, okay. So she took his heat and he took her riches. Or so the legend goes. Wow. That's pretty cool. I'm loving, bro, bro, bro. I'm loving these stories. Uh, hold on, I have a question. You know, I, 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 have a, I have a theory. I have a theory. What if dying, yeah. what if dying unlocks no clip? Uh, I mean, dying yeah. puts you into God mode. Dying gives you access to cheats. Uh, yeah, but you can't. But you get like, like it's like so free like mode, you enter free world, but you can't interact. And so you're, you know, you're permanently you in. You're permanently in like. You're permanently in. You're permanently in spectator mode. Puerto Rico is the only place in the world where we have a city with hotel and everything ready and empty for alien visitors. We built them a a two a, a we we built them like like an apartment and everything. And with like a landing pad, and we're saying, hey, you guys can come down here and stay. All right, now keep that in mind. That is about 15 minutes from Bouguet. So I go to Bouguet at like 2 o'clock in the morning with this girlfriend that I have. And this is a very restricted area that only kind of I know how to get to. I go with this girl, and my friend goes with his girlfriend. And we're kind of having like this thing in the mountains, you know. We leave. It's 6 o'clock in the morning, and there's a bend. Okay, so I'm in the back with this girl. And he is in the front with whoever his girlfriend was at the time. He takes a bend, as in we walk and he takes a right. And what I'm about to tell you is going to be it's the most insane thing that I have ever seen in my entire life. Weren't saying because that as like... soon as he turned that bend, the I, there was a light shone upon me, a green light. It was a green light that was shone upon me. When I look up, there is this ship above me. <laughs> And I look at her, and she looks at me, and I'm like, what the fuck? And this, you know when you get scammed? You know the little scam thing that you do when you're at the register? That thing, green, but instead of red, it said green just scans me, scans her. And this thing, boops out of the sky. Like, exactly how they portray in the movies, like, light speed travel is. That's what it does. Exactly so, like it's portrayed in media. So you... And, they encountered, yeah, they encountered me. And here's the thing. Uh, Brian and her, his girlfriend, they didn't see or hear anything. It, it clearly wanted us to see it because it, it scanned us. But it didn't want the other two people to see us, see it. So it didn't. So it, it's... I, it, it just has... I, I have more questions than I have answers about. It. So, like, let me get one. So here's what I think. Me. Bro, here's what I think happened. And then it just left. You were on drugs. Here, here's what I think happened. So they, so, so the aliens were like taking inter, like intergalactic 95. Yeah. Uh, they took a wrong turn. They're like, where the hell are we? Okay, and like, they're, 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 you know, they took, they, they're like, they're like, where the hell are we? Okay, let's just, let's just scan the nearest life form. And we'll check the database. Oh shit, we're on Earth. Ah, yeah. uh, not this garbage dump. Let's get out of here. 
We gotta get out of here. This is dumb. This place is a dumb. Let's get out of here. No, no, rank. Monkey. It's literally walk from a monkey that kills each other for a race and the color of their skin. Oh, and they also discovered how to split an atom. Get out of here. This place is a dump, and also they're scary. Let's leave. Uh, yeah, I, I they're really violent like the as well. I really like what was the theory, that? And I, and I want to explain why I really like your... Uh, yeah. I, I really love your theory because the whole alien I-95 thing, first off, uh... The highways where I'm at and the traffic is like really fucking ass. Like I'm like a Florida person and believe me. Oh god, Florida, <laughs> run, run, run. I've been there. <laughs> I lived in Orlando. An alien I-95 to me implies that there are massive alien traffic jams. The vampires are the death of an alien department of transportation.